My name is Adam Bronowski. I'm from the uh, Centre of Ideas at the Victorian College of the Arts and Music and the School of Historical and Philosophical Studies, University of Melbourne. Uh, I'm just about to submit my PhD and the PhD is called Occupied Bodies, uh, Aesthetic Responses in New Japan. In 2003, I uh, did a master's at the University of Melbourne in, uh, at the School of Creative Arts in Experimental Japanese Theatre. The reason being that I was working with a Japanese theatre company at the time, living, at the, living in Japan and it allowed me to travel and to come back and to um, research and analyse and write up my, my work in, in the form of a master's. So I kept doing that and uh, over the next five years I was a research scholar at the University of Tokyo and then I started a PhD at the University of Melbourne so it's been a, a good way to continue research and practice. After my undergraduate degree I worked as a theatre practitioner for 15 years um, in Australia working with Australian theatre companies and, and, and travelling overseas almost every year on a tour mostly to Europe but also to different countries in Asia. So I got a bit of a travel bug. Uh, I ended up in, in Japan working with a theatre company there, which is why I began my PhD in the first place. But uh, working with the Japanese theatre company was the... Um, I managed to tie together my interest in Japanese culture, which was from childhood, and my profession, which was theatre, and then to combine them in the form of research and analysis, which is my PhD. My thesis is about uh, Japanese artists responding to socio-historical conditions from the post-war to the present through the body. My main artist that I analysed uh, was the Ankokubuto founders, uh, Hichikata Tatsumi and Ono Kazuo. And then that flows on to the artists in the company that I was working with called Gekinan Kaitaisha, which means Theatre of Deconstruction. At the same time, I also refer to many artists who were part of the same movement in the 50s and 60s that flowed on to the present, uh, including many filmmakers such as Imamura Shohei or the artists uh, Takiguchi Shuzo or the uh, uh, contemporary artists as well. I find very interesting the way Japanese artists have responded from the post-war to the present in relation to their socio-historical condition. That being uh, a very intertwined relationship with uh, the United States in particular uh, and in relation to the politics, uh, the political situation that has been established from the post-war. So this means that through the body, artists have uh, recognised a condition that is, um, sometimes they call it being divided or having two selves or schizophrenic or uh, being occupied. Uh, at the same time, I debate that this is uh, a development of the internationalisation of a national identity. So I'm watching the transformation of a, a nation's identity as it becomes more complex and becomes more internationalised through the work of the artists. I was lucky enough to be the beneficiary of a Melbourne Research Scholarship uh, for my PhD. Uh, for my Masters, I also received a, a Masters Scholarship um, and I also studied at the University of Tokyo on a, on a Monbu Kagakusho, which is a, a Ministry of Education uh, Scholarship in Japan. And as an undergraduate, undergraduate, I also received a Japanese Government Scholarship. So yes, uh, this has been a very assisted process, which is necessary, I argue, for any PhD to be able to reach that level. When I finish my PhD, I would like to continue with research and publication and teaching uh, and continue my relationship with Japan and uh, the language and the culture, but also to broaden my horizons. So I would like to research the aesthetic history of East Asia um, throughout the 20th century.